Denise Solis earns the first possession for UMass Lowell. Quick trigger for Karis Item and our player to watch as. Ability up in the post. A helpful offensive board after the missed free throw. The well from behind the arc. They're nicely above 30%. And it looks to me that. Like and then the rotations to spell them. You start seeing the team gel a little better. And that's what we're seeing. Her hands, not necessarily always turnovers, but struggling a little and getting her rhythm. Sanchez says in from the floor. Carbonell dribbles through trouble. Bell from a long way out for Sanchez. The first year. Skips the pass over to Rowling. That's pure. 50-45. Against St. Peter's last time out on December 21st. Today she is one of eight from the floor and she's turned it over twice. A tenacious defense for UMass Lowell has gone nearly three minutes without giving up a steer with all the energy she needs. That's item wide open. She's got Solis. Forced the turnover. Item on the break. That's just her third made three of the season. Rolling from 16 feet away, that's pure. The season is over for UMass Lowell, now 4-9 overall this year. They'll head into America East play this Thursday, right here against UNH. So for my broadcast partner, Robin Muller, and our entire production team here in Lowell, I'm Kevin Gale reminding you of the final score. UMass Lowell comes back to win it in overtime, 61-56 over Fairleigh Dickinson. Thanks so much for watching America East on ESPN. Happy New Year, everybody.